Coach Boyet Fernandez, he usually starts the ball game para sa Pasig City and also no starting five honors. Roca Curva, top scorer last game para sa Pasig City. Mike Maestre getting the offensive rebound. What about Mike Maestre this season in that last play? Costello taps it to himself. Ryan Costello pulls up for three. One of the leading scorers of the league this season, Ryan Costello. On screen, Manalang relocates. Robbie puts the ball on the deck. One dribble, the pass back to Ryan Costello. That's back to back threes for the former sensation. But Congressman Eric Martinez wishes his boys make the most out of their remaining matches here. Manalang. Maestre leaks out. That's a perfect fast break. Valenzuela to take outside shot and they cannot drive the ball early on. Krenz Carlos sets for three. Finally, a basket para sa Valenzuela. Krenz Carlos scores one of the most. Valenzuela on the run once again. Carlos having trouble with the basketball. That's a turnover. Maestre. That's another basket in transition. He gets another two there. The lead is 12 para sa Pasi. Mason. Working against Alvin by Chong, that's Fernandez. Robbie Manalang, top angle, but still down and through on that floater. And everything going for Pasig to start this war screen. By Chong switches Carlos from the outside. That's all net. Para kay Krenz Carlos. So Krenz Carlos actually all else. He has won championships. A winner in the PBA, a winner in the NCAA, and a winner in the PBA D League. As Ryan Costello tries to bring out the on the offensive end, they are sharing that basketball. What a kick out from Robbie Manala. Classic more victories for them to be able to step in into the final four in the north to get home court advantage as Costello, guarded by Gian Rivera, bounce pass to Mike Maestre. Manala. Back to Maestre, Mike being patient down low, the reverse is good. Talented, it's one thing to be skilled, but it's also one thing to understand how the game plays. And that is going to be the beauty of Josa Nimes para dito sa Pasig. He is not yet so far and they'll get a few more victories here in our season. Oh, we all know Josa Nimes played a lot of the guard spot, especially during his prime days. But because winning a three, as well as Mike Mashon, 29 to 15. Getting Valenzuela some points. Rivera gets the pass coming from Fred Carlos. Excellent setup between the legs pass and the. There you see that was the setup for Gian Rivera. Sistema nila. On the side of the boys naman, after that ball game, they learned the value of no learnings na ito, lalo't higit sa playoffs. How do you know ito? Thank you so much, Andrea. Well, that definitely was... That three-point shot was flat. Cannon ahead of the back. Sidestep. That's a beauty coming from Lander Cannon. Lander Cannon not really known for his... In the fourth. Pero dito, second quarter pa lang. Pumabagal na dito ang Pasig City. And Ryan Costello wanting to change that narrative para sa kanila. Oh, and Ryan Costello, of course, their leader, their team captain, their star player. And here in this ballgame, Ryan Costello with 17 points, stepping up. Wengo, another opportunity for Val City. The drop of Diego Bumuelo. Short, gets it again. This time, it goes para kay Jerick Diego. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the Jameson Hero running the show here. Onto the corner, Ngoho, specialty of the house. Yes, sir. That is the role of Gilbert Ngoho para dito sa Valenzuela. And there he was given a little space on the corner and he'll be making it. Straight away, Costello will try. He has missed his last two attempts from Rainbow Territory. Pasok lahat ng mga libreng pagkakataon. Basic now over the limit. That is why Car and Carlo Velasco has been night and day this season. Byron. Middle drive, Jego, he loves that spot. Short, Roca Curva snatches that rebound. Here in the ball game, eight points, eight rebounds for Mike Mashon. Another double double from the free throw line. Second one is good, so now it's back in the first quarter. Roca Curva, that's definitely a foul on Carlo Velasco. It'll be a push on Carlo Velasco, an opportunity para dito kay Roca Curva to when they are needed and so far 
been the same story. The bench has not been able. Second shot is good para kay Kedir Okakurva. Shot of the screen. C decides to take it. A swat by Mike Maestre. Costello to Okakurva. Does he have time? I don't think that's gonna count. I don't think that's gonna count either. Roca Curva. Oh, that definitely did not count. It was still in his hands when the clock read zero. Costello may Carlo Velasco was being defended right now by Martin. By Chong. 18 footer. Down and through Para kay Alvin by Chong Alvin by Chong Not really one of their main offense Miss But that is the way They played their first quarter Every time they force a miss Automatically They will be running Just like this They force a turnover Kenny Roca Curva Will be leaking out I Gotta give credit To Robbie Manalang Kenny Roca Curva Turnover by Byron C The steal By Robbie Manalang The save And the finish Galang kay Kenny Roca Curva The lead is 17 they Share the relationship already having Coach Boyd Fernandez as their champion coach years before in Santa Lucia and I'm sure they want to be able to repeat that kind of success from Gurva corner pass Manalang for three that's good Robbie Manalang dialing it down from the outside Ryan Costello knowing that he has missed the last three maybe I try to share that basketball swings it to Robbie Manalang and Robbie Manalang says thank you and one-on-one -on -one tournament in Val City to be able to uh, get the nod to play here para sa kupunan ng Valenzuela in the FPBL by Chong screen assist story 16 to 9 Robbie Manalang he is putting on a show shooting and passing here in second unit be able to step up the bench points of passing only 6 here in the ball game so 49 of the 55 points of passing Maestre in the middle, Costello, no hesitation, catches and fires. And what's the difference? Why he was able to make the shot? Carlos on the right corner, attacks middle against Bai Chong. Difficult shot converted by Krenz Carlos. Oh, good defense, better offense coming from Krenz Carlos. Manalang gets it, Costello able to chase it down. Roca Curva. Will not settle for the three. That is too easy para kay Kenny Roca Curva. That first step of Kenny Roca Curva will always go to Ryan Costello. Jeff Lorenzo pulls up. That's good. Para sa kanilang kupunan because they'll need every guy to be able to be confident enough. So no step up a scorer. No walang go to scorer on the second unit. But the difference to walk into. Rivera having trouble with that basketball, almost the steal. Valenzuela this season, but his percentage has not been so good from the outside he direction. And Gian Rivera has not been consistent the whole season, but we never to be able to get maybe a few more victories to end the season. He's averaging only a shade under 20%. Is not there. Nanganga pa sila sino ang ating bibigyan ng bola. And they do follow the system. The base, that Pasig City, they love to run. But come the second unit and his other teammates. You know, personally, I'm gonna put in Joe Gomez de Leano in that yes. in that list. That could be good as well. To apat malay natin sa MPB. Going lima. Ikaw ka na leta yan. Oh, he continues to age like fine wine. Chris Carlos able to start things off well. Siempre si Byron Villarias hindi yan magpapatalo. Pa naman. Shooters natin dito sa MPBL. Ikaw, sinong uh, ilalaban mo dyan? Uh, I'm looking at the number one. Does it, his legs doesn't even leave the floor. So baka lumaban yan. Titik shot lang eh. Titik shot lang. Oh, Michael Mashon. He actually tried out three times already para dito sa Valenzuela. And finally, yeah, that just goes to show you that persistence pace. And there's Ryan Costello once again getting a basket off of feet. From Robbie Manalang, these two guys, this backcourt of Pasig City, Rav Tungoho, who makes himself available for the pass. Mashon backs down Cannon. Aggressive drive, the drop step, and of having this squad be built of more players from their city has really become fruitful. And they continue to build. He's still trying to get 
one of their home games this season. I think we will, we will be seeing that as they wrap up their campaign and maybe in their last. Jago getting a pass outside. Vince Carlos hitting it from three point country. I'm sure Kong Eric will be excited para dito if ever he gets to be, have Mike Mashon once again next season. Has had in their great runs in this game and Costello getting a steal once again. That's another score of the break para sa Pasig City. And Costello still adding to his stats against Nueva Ecija. Oh, that was such an intense game in Palayan City. Imagine them leading through three quarters and more than midway through the fourth persona na hindi ko na kailangan pilitin na sots kumura ko. Pwede naman pala ako dumipensa na lang na maganda. 83 to 59, shot from the corner. Chris Carlos continuing his good shooting here for Valenzuela to play in today's game, especially as they are under man, only 11 guys. A miss. Uh, looks like there's going to be another foul called. Looks like it's going to be an unspo. One year in the fourth quarter. Yeah, well, that's aside from the fact that they were really going to kiss the Tyler Chash. five fouls. Tyron Chan, plus ball possession para dito sa Pasig City. 6.9 points per game this season para sa kanya.